everybody, it's Crazy Fangirl Shimey. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So finally, my <laughs> update video is here. Um, it's literally the second time I've had to film this because unfortunately the footage did not work in the first video and I lost it. But also I just didn't feel like it was a well done one. I think I glossed over a lot of stuff honestly. Um, and as you guys know I want to try and be as transparent as I can be with my audience. I, I, like, you guys mean a lot to me. Um, and so I want to just, you know, show who I really am with you guys and be honest as possible. And yeah, so we're gonna be <laughs> talking about some stuff today. Nothing to do with Moon Knight, nothing to do with video games or any of that. Um, it's just about me, uh, which is a bit weird. Um, I haven't done sort of like a video like this since I think a year ago, which was like when Falcon and the Winter Soldier came out. Um, so it's been a while since I did like an update video, I guess. Maybe every year we should do an update video and see how life is going. Um, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys in on stuff that's been happening these past few months. Um, and yeah, that's sort of like what this video is going to be about. And also there's going to be uh, about the changes that are coming to the channel literally in a week. So we're going to jump into all of that right here. I will say beforehand that we will be talking about mental health stuff. So if you're not comfortable with that, um, you can skip this and just read the description below. Um, or I'll probably put a community post up on my YouTube channel so you can check that out. Um, but also I'll put like warnings and stuff in the... Um, timestamps. Um, so if you want to skip to different things, you're more than welcome to do that. But other than that, let's get straight into this. So I guess the past year, or oh, well, the past couple of years has been crazy for us. And honestly, it's taken a toll on me these past, I think, couple of months. Um, and yeah, sort of like it really was affecting me really harshly. I think this whole COVID thing really affected who I was, my mental health. And yeah, it was just really bad. Now, when I opened the channel up um, years ago now, four years ago, <laughs> um, I made a video about mental health awareness and stuff. And I've been wanting to do a charity event for a while, which I will get down the line to doing hopefully soon, um, maybe in the next couple of months. But anyway, um, I sp opened up about my mental health issues. Um, I, I have clinical depression. I've had it since I was about 13 years old. Um, and I've been very open about going to therapy and getting help for it and trying to spread awareness to people who are on my channel and how it can really help to go to therapy. Um, it's not forcing anybody to do anything, but I always talk about my experiences with therapy, etc. Um, so last year um, was pretty bad. Honestly, 2021 was not a good year for me. Um, I think in just my general everyday life and even just on the channel, I didn't feel the same about a lot of things that um, I felt passionate about, I guess. I didn't feel that spark. And even with me as a person, I didn't feel like me. I felt very like, run I felt like I was running away from myself, running away from a lot of responsibility. And just because I think, because obviously with COVID there, and a lot of my anxiety was weighing down. I lost who I was. I didn't really know who I was, what I wanted in life. And I felt very, very lost. And it was a really dark time in my life. And yeah, it was just a time where I just wasn't sure about myself, really. Now, out of the darkness came this light, which was my sister. <laughs> and um, honestly, me and my sister are very close. We've become a lot closer in the past couple of years, I think because of COVID, the separation, and I think even just before that, like, we've been close, we've been pretty tight, um, but I think this really solidified, like, how much I love and respect her, and how much I look up to her, but, um, yeah, she literally came into my life once more, not that she never went away, but, like, she, she just sort of, like, we were talking one day on the phone, chatting, texting, as girls do, or sisters do, um, and we were texting each other, and she just said, you know, like, something's not right, like, everything's not okay with you and I can see it and I was just like what do you mean she was like you're not yourself um you know you're not you don't really have any like goals or dreams like that are being fulfilled in the next couple of like months or so and I was like this is when I was studying as well so I was like sort of using the excuse like I'm studying I don't really want a job at the moment and stuff um I still don't have my license either so that was something she was talking about too um and she was just saying, like, what's, like, are you okay? Which is a big question, um, I think, for anybody. And I said, yeah, I'm fine. But then as, you know, she kept asking me, like, not even in that moment, but in the next couple of days, we were talking about it constantly. And it made me think, 
oh crap, I'm not okay at all. Um, I feel completely lost and I don't know what to do. I just felt like I was, um, I'd lost myself a lot. I think with COVID, but also not only that, I think with a lot of trauma that's happened in the past. And also, don't worry if you're new to the channel and you're listening to me bring up trauma and stuff. It's nothing that's like, you know, it's it's just stuff that's happened in life that's affected me. It's not like abusive anything. I don't, yeah, don't worry. If it was, I'd bring it up and I'd talk about it, but it's not. It's just, um, I had, I lost my grandfather at a young age and that really affected me and I think it triggered my depression, etc. The brain chemicals, you know, um, that sort of stuff happened. And also I was bullied heavily when I was younger. Um, that really caused a lot. And I was in a, a really emotionally abusive relationship a couple of years ago too. So all of that mixed into one, no therapy for the past couple of years. I had therapy when I was younger for like about five years and then I stopped because I obviously left high school. So then therapy stopped and then all that jazz happened and it all, COVID happened as well. So all of that into a magical ball of emotion and brain and just, this is what you get, a big mess. <laughs> so yeah, so that was really what was the problem. Just like all this stuff that I hadn't really spoken about or just like things that still needed to be addressed that was just deep inside of me and I think was really just, I guess, eating me alive. I, that's sort of like the, I guess, I can't really explain the feeling, but it was just a really dark feeling and just pain and a numb feeling. Um, I don't know, I think some people can relate to it if they do. Um, but I've spoken to like my friends and stuff and even to my sister and my therapist about it. Like that numb feeling where I just don't know and I don't know where I'm going. I'm lost and just I, f I feel empty. I don't feel any emotion. So it was sort of like that. I didn't, I wasn't feeling, I felt like I was the outsider. I wasn't feeling <laughs> the same as everybody else. I felt very empty, not feeling a lot of emotion and stuff. So, and also just no excitement, etc. So... I just felt very lost. Um, and again, going back to my sister, she was saying as well, you're very self-deprecating, you put yourself down a lot. And I didn't really see that. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, that's not true. But then again, she brought that up. And in the next couple of days, whenever I was hanging out with my friends, when it, whether it was talking with my sister or just anybody, I realized how self-deprecating I was. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess my sister was right. <laughs> and so from then on, it slowly became the sort of like a, a goal of mine to heal and get better and 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 also just in terms of just myself do better for me um honestly yeah I've been through a lot in my life in terms of just brain and mental health shit that I've had to put up with a lot um and I just wanted to do something good and I want to be better for myself first and foremost before anything else and so thanks to my sister she helped me go like set up my therapy stuff she like pushed me to do that she's recently again pushed me to help me get a job and go for jobs and go for interviews and one obstacle still is to get that license which is again my anxiety I need to get over it but that's also a mission that I'm on to to get my license so yeah I've had my therapy um in the past few months and I did my 10 sessions um and uh, honestly it's helped me so much and it's helped me find you know like deal with all that trauma and you know build in those like I guess there's different mental thoughts that can really help you against the negative thoughts and energy that can come through you. I'm getting very like energy <laughs> language here. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like against all the negative energy and I can get very negative or I can fall into that very dark space, headspace that can sometimes be very bad. So that helps a lot. And I'm very grateful for that therapy um, session, those therapy sessions that I went to because they really, really helped. And I, I feel so much better now. Um, and obviously it's every, and also it's a learning process to be patient with myself, to be patient with the person that I'm becoming and also to let go of the person that I was, because I think I was holding on to so much pain. I was holding on to so much, uh, negativity that I thought I had to hold on and also thought that it, um, represented who I was for the rest of my life, I guess, or in a way like, what's the word? 
defined me as a person but in reality no it doesn't define me and it's time to let that all go um and i'm still letting it go i've let majority of it go but in time it's sort of slowly i'm peeling back the layers and i'm i want to be better for myself and something that i've also come to sort of terms with is that i will never be the person that i was 10 years ago Um, 20 years ago or even when I was a child I'll never be that person again and so right now is me trying to be the best person that I can in the present in the moment Um, and so I'm trying to be better every single day especially more importantly and most importantly for myself Um, and I feel like I'm slowly slowly getting better and I'm very proud of the progress that I've made in the past couple of months Um, I know I didn't let you guys in on that is because I wanted to sort of do it on my own in a way even though it was I was letting in my family and stuff um, in on that Um, I think it was a process I wanted to go in on my own without you know sharing it with the world until I was ready and until I was like happy with where I was and I'm very happy at the moment with my life and I'm happy with the trajectory that I'm going on at the moment so yeah I wanted to share that with you guys again as you guys know mental health is very important to me so I want to let you guys know be patient with yourselves even if you are on a healing journey because COVID fucked us all up but remember to be kind to yourselves every single day when you wake up and you're not feeling the best just know that you can wake up the next day and it's a brand new day with new energy and new possibilities so remember that and be patient with yourselves and be kind to yourselves because even with me I'm very un- I've always been unkind to myself only recently I've been trying to sort of lean away from that negative like energy and sort of be kinder to my body and to my mind and to just everything that is me because you only live one life that's what my sister keeps saying to me as well she I love my sister so much but she was telling me and that really helped me as well like just knowing how much she she loved me and wants me to, to be better really also is such something that just means the world to know that oh god I'm getting emotional but to know that someone wants me to improve just really means the world um because sometimes you can feel like you're all alone even though you have a room full of people um but when someone sort of steps up and voices their concern and their love for you like that means the world and that yeah my sister I've looked up to her so much like she's on a whole other level that I'm that I'm not on um and so to have have her love and support me and so on. I need to stop being emotional, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's been something that I've been going through at the moment, but I can tell you now I'm in a very happy position at the moment. I'm very happy with where I am and where I'm going. Um, I want to feel new experiences and go through them and just, yeah, it's a slow process, but I really want to get better and improve and enjoy life for what it is. Now, a big thing that's coming to the channel, which is a big change, is my whole schedule of life. So you guys remember the interview I went to the day after the Moon Knight reaction that came out on the Thursday that I did a couple of weeks ago? Well, I sort of scored the job, <laughs> which is really exciting and, you know, I, I didn't expect to get it because it's been like, t- not 10 years, but like nearly 5 to 7 years where I haven't gone for a job interview. So, hmm, that was, the fact that I even got it was just... I don't know how I did it. Um, (laughs) But thank you. Just quickly, thank you to the support of my sister, but also to my friends who helped me the night before and gave me some advice. You guys know who you are. Thank you. Um, But also just the support, my friends. Honestly, my friends and my sister and my family have been so incredibly supportive throughout these past few months. It's just been the best. And to have people like that, it's the best. When you find your people, it means it's the best thing and the best feeling in the world. Anyway, yeah, with this new schedule, um, it's changing a lot of things. I'm working from Monday to Friday, literally a full-time job almost. Um, and so it's going to change the way I react to things. Um, I just wanted to warn everybody because obviously... It's the channel's always worked on the fact that whenever something comes out, I react to it immediately or either the day after because that's how things work. However, with this new schedule, I won't be able to do that. So I'm going to make a schedule of weekends when I can release stuff or even Friday nights, depending on what the reaction is, um, of when I'm going to release things um, and like you know I'll put it like almost like a weekly schedule I'll let everyone know on my channel especially through the community post so if you want to please remember to hit that bell on the bottom when you subscribe so that 
you can keep up to date with all my notifications um, on my channel and keep up with the community posts as well and you'll be able to see my schedule through there um, and especially with Obi-Wan coming up and some other shows that I really want to react to when they do come out um, and even video games when they do come out I want to react to them and play them and also again the schedule also means that streaming will definitely be different as well uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with streaming so it's probably just going to be very random um, and depending on <laughs> how I feel so yes yeah, definitely stream is going to be very random but I'm hoping that I can implement that somehow but we'll see how that goes but with the main stuff which is mainly re reaction videos they're going to be coming out on a like again the weekend Friday schedule which I will eventually write up and release so that means next week with Moon Knight it depends on how I'm feeling because next week I start training um so <laughs> if I'm exhausted I doubt the reaction will be coming out it'll probably be coming out either that day the day after or the Friday um so unfortunately I won't be reacting to the last episode on time as usual so I apologize but unfortunately it's a part of life but I am excited for the finale if you haven't gone and watched episode 5 of Moon Knight go and watch it do yourselves a favor and watch it but yeah that's what I wanted to let you guys in on like uh, a lot of changes have happened in my life I also wanted to say another, uh, I guess, a happy note, a happier note than what we were talking about before. Um, I've started writing again. If you guys are from my original channel, you will know that I was writing back then, which was a long time ago. But then I just stopped because I just didn't believe in that dream anymore. I lost my spark for it. And that I guess that's also something that came with a lot of the stuff that I lot of I lost a lot of passion for but after going to therapy and even talking to my therapist about some stuff she was encouraging me to try and get back into the things that I like especially with YouTube trying different things but even with um, writing to try again and get into that and I have been starting to write my book series again which is pretty fun and going back was just oh it was a pain because I realized how terrible the book was <laughs> but now I've already written out a plan for what the story is going to be and where it's going and what it's focusing on and I'm pretty pretty proud of it um and I'm excited to share the details of that whenever that is going to be like more, whenever I talk about that more because I do want to share the details on it I might well I mean depending on how things go I might make another channel and make it for my book stuff so I can talk about it and stuff but we'll see um it's it, it's very early in the work so don't expect anything too soon but I'm pretty proud of it already where it's going and what the story is about and the characters that I've created so yeah that's a pr that's pretty exciting too anyway I'm gonna leave it here because there's been quite a lot that we've spoken about um but again remember to love yourselves remember to love the people around you and to always check up on them I always say that um just check in because that can always be the greatest thing um in the world or can really make a day better for somebody who may not be having the greatest time at the moment I could definitely say like when my friends reach out to me and stuff it means the world um and that's always the greatest thing and makes my day so just reach out to your loved ones whether it's a parent or a friend um, or a loved one or your boyfriend or girlfriend or what partner <laughs> just reach out to them and check in on them because honestly that can make a day 10 times more better and also remember to put yourselves first because I know mental health this t I guess the genre and the talk of mental health has changed in the past 20 years which is incredible it's it's changed so much and to see that a lot of younger kids are talking about it too is very encouraging but don't be afraid to talk about it and also don't be afraid to talk to somebody about it whether it's a therapist or a loved one open up to them and tell them how you're really feeling because from someone who's an expert at bottling emotions up don't do it because it can be heavy and it can get very taxing on yourself on your body and your your just your like everything your well-being in general it can really affect you so journal that's something that's helped a lot and i'm doing it a lot more now <laughs> but just yeah we live one life and that's something that's been resonating with me a lot recently so just remember that and 
Do anything that makes you happy. That's the most important thing. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going on a rant now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, I guess... I shall see you guys around on the channel. I just want to say as well, thank you guys so much for the support always. I hope that you guys will stick around for my journey, even though it's going to be a lot of ups and downs in terms of how I do the schedule and stuff from now on. But please stick around because I want to still do this reaction stuff. I love it. Um, and I hope you guys still enjoy the content that I'm producing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I would really like it if we continue this- Oh! If we continue this journey of crazy fangirl reviews, sorry. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop because otherwise I'll keep ranting, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys very soon. Crazy fangirl out. Bye!